full time at the Emirates and Arsenal have absolutely destroyed Bolton by five goals to one. And in today's video, I'm just going to be looking at Ethan Ranieri's performance because he was absolutely spectacular today. Just so, so impressive. But before I begin, if you are new here, please smash that like, smash the subscribe too. Be greatly appreciated. But let's just get into it. I've just got a little screenshot here. We all saw the goal that Ethan Ranieri scored. I thought it was really, really good. But I do really love his intensity to get into the box, you know, attacking this sort of space across here. We've needed that from midfield. You know, Erdegaard is more of a player who, you know, sort of box crashes in this sort of a zone. Nwanieri sort of offers that in the box threat as well. It's something different. Not all players have it, but Nwanieri has the knack to get into the box, to put himself in these areas to score goals. And that's really, really impressive, to be honest, because... Sometimes midfielders can just watch the play, they can see the play going on and just decide, okay, my role is to primarily, you know, sort of create. But Wanieri, that is, that's not really what he's there for. He wants to go in there, score. If he sniffs an opportunity, he'll get in there. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful moment to see him, you know, tap that home, albeit a tap in, just the intensity to get into that position, the intensity to, to kind of just move himself so quickly into that position as well, to keep up play. It's just so, so positive, to be honest. And he really, really showed us how good he is and the sort of potential he has in terms of being a pure goal scorer if we just look to be honest at his stats overall a really good performance you know an 8.3 rating 90 minutes played two goals 44 touches i feel like we've got to highlight that being involved is so crucial for a midfielder and i saw even ranieri sort of drop into the pockets receive it in tight spaces want it on the half term when a driver is you know sort of opponent okay let's get it maybe bolting up the highest sort of level of opposition but again you know it can be easy for a youngster to hide in these sort of games but Nwanieri just isn't that sort of youngster he wants it to his feet he wants to be driving at defenses he wants to be the guy to create stuff as well as the guy you know to score goals and that's reflected in his sort of performance if you look at his heat map as well he's receiving it in deep areas he's receiving it in areas you know high up the pitch as well he wants to be involved he does not care he's got you know two key passes 93 percent pass accuracy which is really really good as well two shots on target you know one out of four dribble attempts you know successful three out of nine ground duels you know these stats are really good the fact he's involved in these duels putting himself in areas where he can be in duels i saw it today he really did try and get in those duels try and be sort of heavy on the press we saw him kind of occupy you know that attacking sort of eight in that four four two pressing sort of form and i do feel like he's sort of ready to take on that martin Odegaard role in the number eight and really show us what he's got because he can be really really good also two tackles there as well showing you can do the defensive side of the game because I think for me and Arsenal fans we know how good he is on the ball but can you perform you know off the ball can you press really well can you you know put yourself about put yourself in jewels risk injury in in sort of you know pressing the ball can you do that if you can then fantastic you're going to do really really well at the club and Ranieri was so so good and I just want to highlight this you know this is just a simple screenshot just showing Ranieri in this pocket of space and I just want to say before he received this ball he scanned the pitch around six seven times he scanned it six seven times that's so impressive to be honest as a youngster as a midfielder you're told before you receive the ball check your surroundings see what's around you and Ranieri did this this action actually led to a goal and it may not look that significant this was the Declan Rice goal you know him picking up this pocket of space it can be easy you know we've seen Erdegaard do it before you know playing next to Saka Odegaard likes to operate in this sort of space. This is the Odegaard zone, him and Saka, you know, playing those sort of balls. But Nwanieri is the sort of midfielder who's happy to be a bit selfless and receive in the deeper pockets to then put a ball into someone else there. That could be a Ben White, but it was just Nichols, who I thought was quite impressive, to be honest. Again, a youngster who I highly rate. He was doing some good movement, some good interchanges, pretty good defensively. A solid performance he can be proud of for sure, you know, Josh Nichols. I think he was really, really good. But again, you just Ranieri receiving the ball in this pocket, wanting to play the ball into Nichols. You know, it can be easy to go back to recycle, but Ranieri isn't that sort of player. He easily does play that ball into Nichols and we're on our way who then finds a lovely lo lovely lovely ball into that six yard area for Declan Rice to put into the net it's these small things that we as fans maybe don't look at we don't really concentrate on it's how these players perform in those spaces receiving in those spaces before they've received the ball as well what is their intensity are they really really intent on creating sort of space for themselves but then playing a pass into one of their teammates if you can do that to a really high level, you're going to go to the very, very top. And Ranieri against Bolton showed he can be really good, picking the ball up in the spaces, you know, finding his man, creating, 
being selfless in his creativity as well. And these are really, really important for an Arteta sort of attacking eight, especially when we've got Jorginho Rice, who sort of plays that number eight role, Declan Rice, in the sort of centre forward line. Look at him now, even in this sort of screenshot, look at the position he's occupying. So you've got to be selfless as the right number eight. You've got to recognise, OK, I have to kind of drop back. I need to let these guys do their thing. I'm the primary creator, I have to be selfless. And it was really good for Nunieri to do that against Bolton. And then obviously we have, you know, the position he picked the ball up here in that sort of 4-4-2, him and Jesus doing what we sort of associate with um, Martin Odegaard and Kai Havertz in the number nine role. I don't think, you know, Gabriel Jesus was at his best today, but it was really, really nice to see the shape still prominent in a game against Bolton in the League Cup because it can be easy to lose your shape, it can be easy to sort of, you know, lose yourself really in the way that Arteta wants you to play. But Nwanieri was brave in the press, brave in receiving in the pockets and obviously the confidence to sign it, kind of just go into this gap here was just really, really good. And I just love that from Nwanieri. A really nice finish as well to cap off a top, top afternoon. I think he's ready to play against Leicester. I really do feel like Arteta's got to try it out. I think he has the quality, the confidence and everything we sort of want from attacking number eight. It's Leicester are going to sit back. We're going to need his creativity. We're going to need his pressing as well off the board. And I think he's really tailor-made to come in and play that number eight role. But anyway, that's it for now, Gunners. Hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, peace.